Seems everyone has their favorite neighborhood pizza place or are on the lookout maybe for some new places to try. Our next guest created a guide of the best new pizza places in town that serve pies in a variety of styles. All of them, he says, rise above the ordinary and are definitely worth a try. We want to welcome Pittsburgh Magazine's associate editor and dining critic, Hal B. Klein. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm trying to figure out how you came up with the idea to do this. Were you just like starving one day for pizza? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, they're, they're the hard hitting stories and the selfish stories, right? right? right. It's, what a great idea to go out and eat new pizza. Um, but really, no, I was actually thinking about this idea of all these different styles of pizza that are suddenly available in Pittsburgh. And, you know, Pittsburgh isn't a town that people necessarily associate with pizza, right? Right, yeah. And in the last couple of years, it seems like there are these places that have opened that are really, really amazing and, and really different. You've got everything from Neo-Neapolitan to New York to Old World to Detroit style. And it's great. It's really exciting. And I thought it was it was time to give Pittsburgh its, uh, a little bit of uh, spotlight. And I loved how you started the article, too, talking about the debate about which pie is best in Squirrel Hill with, between Minios and, and what, what was and it? And Aiello's, yeah, right, right, yeah. This yeah. is, you know, this is, this, is, this is the thing we've been talking about for, for years, for, for years. decades. And you're like, think and, outside the box. There's right. new places to try, people. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about uh, one of your first picks, and this was Pizza Taglio. Yeah, I love that place. So I think one of the things that I noticed throughout the story, too, is that there's a, there are a lot of people that started out doing something else um, that, that found the calling. Right. Pizza, there's something really seductive about making pizzas. And, you know, when you think about things that, that changed throughout the years with Ron Molinaro opening El Pizziolo in 96, that really started this. Mm -hmm. um, people that were doing something else that found this drive. So Tony Jeremita, his parents actually own a restaurant. Um, on Mount Washington, so he thought he grew I've up in a restaurant, oh, decided, and, and that place is great too, and his yeah. dad makes pizza um, that he learned from his grandma, and you know, so there could be this line of tradition from all of them, but he actually left and became a lawyer for a while, and then found his calling and came back, and he's making neo-Neapolitan neo pizza, so think really thin crusts, uh, long fermented doughs with, you know, it tastes like fresh bread from the oven. And I, Keep talking I, know, I, I know, right? This is hard. I want, to, <laughs> I, want, I want to research this story again. Um, it's, it's funny, not, too, because people are always like, you know, are you sick of pizza? And I'm like, no. no I just want how to keep could you ever it. be? Yeah. Well, let's talk about one of your other options, too. This is Ironborn. I have not heard about this place. Before. Yeah, so Ironborn is bringing in, so Detroit-style pizza is, is kind of a trend that's sweeping throughout the country right now. And it's something that started in Detroit in the 40s and kind of stayed quiet there until a place in New York a few years ago was like, whoa, what is this? It's, you know, it's a, it's a yeasty, or not yeasty, but like a bready pizza. It's a little bit thicker, almost like a focaccia, but it's covered on the outside with a ring of melted cheese. Oh, so you know, like that, you know the edge of the macaroni and cheese that you're yes. fighting of? Think yes. about if you added that to a pizza. Oh. Um, and uh, Pete Tolman makes it. He um, was the chef at Giant Eagle before coming to Smallman Galley and was one of the new chefs that came in there was like, went, ate it somewhere, was like, oh my God, I gotta do this. And it's, you know, it's amazing. And this is one of those that, you know, it's, it's, you can share it, it's amazing. He also is a little bit more liberal with his toppings than mm. some of the other pizza makers. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, when you get that one slice of, or one piece of basil, I'm like, that looks really pretty, but come on, lay on the top. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a purist, right. <laughs> um, but, you know, but respect for someone that wants to go absolutely, and, and try it. Absolutely, and, I love a fancy pizza, yeah. too. All right, let's talk about Rockaway Pizza. This was one of my favorites. So this was, every time I do a story, mm -hmm. I feel like there's always one place that no one's talking about that, you yeah. know, throughout, like, the doing some research. Uh, so I actually started following him on Instagram a while ago. Um, it's this guy, Josh, who, when he was 15, had two dreams, to be in a professional touring band as a musician <laughs> and to run a pizza place. And he did it. He did both. He actually toured no. as a musician in bands for a while, got sick of life on the road, um, was really interested in New York-style pizza, particularly, like, Queens-style pizza, mm -hmm. which is dear to my heart because I grew up in Queens, um, like, so much that on the way to the airport the other day from New York, I stopped at my favorite pizza place, which is this obscure place called Amore Pizza. Oh, and Josh, bad. actually, we geeked out about pizza for about an hour. And he knew this place, he knew all these other places. So he's making this New York style pizza. He's fermenting the dough a little bit longer than they would in New York. Okay. Um, so you have this, you know, like fairly thin, um, but quick cooking slice. Um, and he cooks it, he does this dual method where he cooks a little bit um, on a screen, which is a no-no normally, but he found a way to kind of hack in, do it to melt the cheese a little bit more slowly. 
So you get this luscious cheese, Lovely. this great crust. I mean, it's yeah, it's fantastic. Honestly, my stomach is grumbling. I remember being in New York, and they were there was always this debate: what is is it the water for the bagels and the pizza that make it so good? Yeah, I and know. I think and I think Josh really proved that uh, you can do it outside. That you of can New York. do it outside of New York. Um, okay, so Batamos, am I saying that right? Yeah, okay. yeah. So he again, another person that was working in the corporate world. He um, one of the older pizzerias on this. I think he opened. I want to say either 2010 or 2012 um, in Mount Lebanon. Just opened a new place on the north side. Side, and makes a New York style slice, which is great, but also makes something called the grandma style. I've had this in New York. Which is so amazing. Um, and it's also dangerously close to my office. So <laughs> <laughs> even while I was doing pizza, I found myself going there for a slice of the grandma style, which is not quite as thick as a Sicilian style. Um, but, you know, again, it's, really it's got good. this like, yeah, and it's, it's made with a little oil on the bottom, so it's crispy on the bottom. Airy, um, these like ribbons of like rivers of sauce. Oh my goodness, the way you're describing it. It's, just, I know, it's, it's like torture. <laughs> I'm okay. wishing one of these places were open right now for um, pizza. Della Terra is also another place we wanted to feature. Right, yeah. So he actually, Fiore, um, who also owns Burgers, um, has this great place. It's up in Harmony um, and it's like off, you know, a highway in this like little mini mall. They're going to move soon to a, uh, a little bit more prominent location up there. And this is one you got to find, you got to go to. Um, and he's doing, again, neo Neapolitan style in a wood fired oven. And he actually worked for Ron Molinaro at El Pizziolo for years, never made a pizza. Um, he worked as the pasta guy. Um, but, like, you know, it must have gotten in his DNA. Who doesn't love pizza? Right? And he, what I love about this place, too, is I think a lot of places really, you know, and rightfully so, shine the light on the ingredients they use. Right. And he is so no brag in using all local flowers, great tomatoes, you know, during tomato season, he's using tomatoes even from his own garden sometimes. That's but there's no, it's about, for him, it's about the quality of the ingredients and not about getting the, the validation from someone for saying they're doing it. I actually went to high school with him. Did you really? Yes, oh, I cool. did, and I'm so excited for all of his success. Okay, last, lastly, and, and there are a couple more that we're not going to talk yeah, about, so, yeah. you know, a little teaser. Yeah, what, come what check else, it out. What else do you want to talk about? So, Dianoia's Eatery, which is one of my favorite places in town for just about everything, mm -hmm. um, they're doing an old world style of pizza, um, so really focused on, on, but their old world style tends to be a quicker style. It's popular in eastern Pennsylvania. Um, New York, but like a little bit thicker almost. But what they're doing there is really focusing on, again, the dough structure. And this is the thing you'll notice in all these pizzas. It's the dough. Is they really care about the dough and they care about making sure there's, you know, there's Quality great dough. And I think, yeah. I, I'm starving now. I hope you know that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> when I sat down, I said, You're, we're doing a pizza segment. You brought me no pizza. I know. <laughs> but I'm happy to have you here, and I'm certainly hungry, and I think there are a lot of great places to check out. You can look for the new March issue of Pittsburgh Magazine, now out on newsstands and online to read more of Hal B. Klein's top pizza picks and more with Pittsburgh Public Schools Superintendent Anthony Hamlet on the cover of this issue.